Happy birthday. Hello and welcome to this new video. Today we are in Cardiff in Wales and it is my birthday today so I hope it will be a fun day. So we'll take you along on this trip and see you on the way. So we are now at Stone Edge Miniature Version. I'm oh, just joking, it's not actually Stone Edge Miniature Version. What was it called again? Warset Stone Circle. Warset Stone Circle. So it's called Warset Stone Circle, apparently. Just, uh, yeah. Funny. Looks quite fun. Cardiff Castle essentially existed out of two parts, the Old Keep and the newer Victorian Castle, which was rebuilt by the Butte family in 1770. While you're visiting the Victorian Castle, I would recommend to doing the house tour as we did, because you will learn a lot more about its history. This room was particularly beautiful. It was the Butte family's day nursery and on the walls you could see painted figures out of children's literature. <laughs> what makes this place interesting to me is that it was one of the first buildings that was attached to electricity and running water, apparently even earlier than Queen Victoria at the time, which was said she wasn't very amused about.
A nice fact was that this castle at the time had been in the hands of three different men. The first man earned all the money, the second man, his son, spent all the money and his son in turn gave it all away to the people of Cardiff. A nice little cycle there. The second part of Cardiff Castle we went to, the keep, was completely different from the first part. The keep does not have any tours, but you can take a look around and it's a pretty beautiful castle in and of itself. The views you can get from the top of the tower in particular are stunning, because you can see most of Cardiff. What this place really makes interesting to me is the fact that there are so many different pieces of separate periods in history to be found. Because next to the Victorian castle on the keep, you can also visit the last parts of the original Roman wall which are over 2000 years old. And hidden beneath one of the castle towers opposite the old Roman wall is an incredible mural called the Roman Chariot Corner, which was sculpted by a local artist and finished in the year 1983. Next to visiting Cardiff Castle and looking around the city itself, I would recommend also visiting Cardiff Bay. Cardiff Bay has beautiful views and if you're in for a snack, there are several restaurants to choose from. And if you're a Doctor Who fan like me, you can see Torchwood Tower for real, which I think is great.
You can also visit the Pierhead Building, also sometimes called the Big Ben of Wills, if you would like to know more of Cardiff Bay's history. Entering the Pierhead Building is completely free, and looking around inside is really well worth your time. So we are back at the camping now. It was a great day, I've seen a lot of Cardiff. I really like the castle myself. The food we ate was great as well. I will put all the details on the places we've been to in the description below as usual. So I hope you enjoyed it and give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel to see the next video of our UK trip. See you next time. Bye!